Hello, everyone, and Happy New Year. Welcome to Zoe Today. I'm Zeke, your home base coordinator on set in Atlanta, and we're continuing a special series of programs while our host, Damon Davis, is broadcasting to you live from Chicago. This entire week, Damon Davis will be tackling a subject we can all identify with, pain. Constant and steady pain, throbbing pain, stabbing pain. If you are experiencing symptoms in your joints, such as pain, redness, or swelling, you may be dealing with what is known as inflammation, which can severely limit your activity, mobility, and quality of life. So if you are experiencing pain in your back, your legs, your joints, or just throbbing pain with no relief, you will want to listen closely and be a part of this conversation. Today, Damon welcomes back medical doctor Joe Feuerstein, and we'll be, they'll be addressing what is causing you this pain, what's behind it, and you're going to find out what you can do right now to stop the pain and get back to living. Okay. Meanwhile, mark your calendars and set your reminders because we are live every weekday from 1 to 1.30 p.m. Eastern time on the Word Network. And at the same time, you can also watch us on social media. Simply visit zoetoday.com and you can join us live on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. And if you are streaming online, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, follow, and share. Whichever way you're tuning in, also be sure to ask questions and drop some comments because your interactions will help shape our after show that will continue to stream online from 1.30 p.m. Eastern to at least 2 p.m. And that's where we're throwing out the rule book. We're going to continue the conversations and answer your burning questions. Okay, so let's get started. Damon. Hi. Everybody, happy new year. Thank everyone for tuned in. It's been a crazy, 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 crazy. I know you agree, 2022, right? But that's the past. <laughs> welcome to 2023 and uh, welcome to the program. I'm your host. I'm Damon Davis. It's a pleasure to be with you in your home. Maybe you're watching my digital device. Uh, we're going to get right into the show because we got a lot to unpack uh, for you, the viewer. And uh, I want to just give a shout out to all of the members uh, and, 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 and many patients that are attached to the world of Zoe, Zoe Enterprise, Zoe Wellness Centers of America out of Atlanta, Georgia. Very excited, by the way, to say I'm in our Chicago location. Isn't that cool? We just opened in Schaumburg, Illinois. It's one of many, many cities that we're going to see open in the next, next few years, uh, starting with 2023. But I want to give a shout out to our members. Those are people that came to the world of Zoe, connected with us, and they're now on a journey to discover the the well version of their now and future, and uh, also to people that are part of Zoe Logic Cell Sciences. That's where all of our research and development and, and all of our supplements are, are studied and, and manufactured and distributed. We're just really excited. I want to most importantly give a shout out to our guest, Dr. Joe Foyestein, who is here with us today. This is a week on inflammation. That's what this week is about. We're going to begin a new series this week, kicking the year off right with really what is the baseline uh, of, of pretty much all sickness and disease. In other words, where there is sickness and disease, there is inflammation. Where there is injury in the body, there is inflammation. And this week, we're going to talk about what it is, why it is important to you, why you should know about inflammation and what we can do to deal with that inflammation before it becomes a problem. Now, uh, I'm going to introduce our guest. It's going to hit two high points for inflammation, which will be where we're getting started. And it goes with something like this, my story. Now, I am not in our studio in Schaumburg because I'm at home at uh, our, our residence in Chicago. Why? Because I fell last night. I was telling, telling you just how it happened. I fell last night and I fell on the edge of my sofa, slipped in my robe and my socks, telling you like it, like it is. And fell on my rib cage, and I think I haven't got an X-ray yet. Our good doctor here might meet me go to urgent care, but I think I either fractured or definitely bruised ribs in my chest. Now, if anybody's been through that, talk about pain. What a perfect leaping point on today's show that I personally experienced injury in my body, which is con converted into inflammation and some sort of pain. Dr. Joseph Feuerstein, welcome to our program, sir. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And I'm uh, greeting you in Shamrock, Illinois, because I'm at our Zoe studio in, uh, in Illinois. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, nice to be you're here you. while I'm here nursing my pain. Talk about what happened last night. That's a great place to get started. And, and, uh, and just if I, can, if I can, Dr. Feuerstein, I want to recognize you and your credentials, your, your background, uh, not how we got connected, but more importantly, why it matters that our people are hearing from you. Now, you are a medical doctor. I'm a medical you doctor. You have spent the vast majority of your career in a specific area called integrative medicine, which is getting to the root cause right. of sickness and disease. Right. Tell us a little bit more about you, your credentials, your area yeah. of study, and then tell me what happened when I hit that couch last night. Okay. 30 seconds on me. Not so interesting. More importantly, about inflammation. Uh, for the last 15 years until I left, I was the medical director of one of the largest integrative medicine centers in the country. I personally saw 45,000 patients. None of them were be given prescription medications. Everybody had serious medical conditions and they were all treated naturally because that's what integrative medicine is. I teach at two medical schools. I'm a professor there. One of them is an Ivy League medical school. But most importantly, what is inflammation? So inflammation is a natural part of the body. This is supposed to happen. When you injure yourself, part of the healing process is inflammation. Why? Because the red blood cells and the white blood cells. The problem is. Could be internet online. Zinky, we have lost now, Dr. Feuerstein. Go back to Damon. Go back to I believe we've lost Dr. Feuerstein. Ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize. Uh, this is live. This is not live to tape. This is live. That means two seconds after we say it, you get it. And uh, so I do apologize. Our our location where Dr. Dr. Feuerstein is, we seem to have some technical difficulty. Um, if, if I may, and I'm going to follow my team here to tell me the cue when we've got Dr. Feuerstein back. And uh, as soon as we get him back, we're going to allow him to keep going. But what Dr. Forrestan was just talking about is what is happening when inflammation occurs. Now, a couple of building blocks. Inflammation is the body's natural response to either an, an a, a, a antigen, a, a, path, a, vi a virus, an infection, or an injury. You got that? So I think Dr. Joe is back. Dr. Joe, do we get you back? I, I'm, I'm back. I, I'm, I was I'm trying back. to fill in the and gap. You're right on. You. Keep you're right on. You're right on, my brother. You got it right. You got it. When you told me last night, you said, uh, "You said, tell me what happened last night." I said, "The first thing is you had some wine." That was the first thing I know. <laughs> That's no why I'm here. <laughs> Not too much. A reasonable amount. But yeah. so the point, as you said, is anything causes inflammation, infections, viruses, bacteria, uh, 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 parasites, and yeah. trauma. And sunshine, think about sunshine. When you get a sunburn, what happens? You get red and swollen and painful. Those are literally the Greek words for inflammation. Rubo is red. Oh, you know, kalo is heat and, and, uh, and dolo is pain. And those are the parts of inflammation. Inflammation is fine. Too much inflammation. Now you have a problem. And the real thing for you, my friend, chronic inflammation, not good. Right. Um, so everybody watching. So here's what you just heard. So if your body is an inflamed in an inflamed state, what what is that, Dana? Well, it could be your ring doesn't fit on your finger anymore, right? So we know some of us know what that is. You try to close your hands. You know my story, and it was really, really tough to close my hands. You, you can't get your shoes on. You got swelling going on around the ankles right a lot of people experience that um that is inflammation swollen state inflammation. right but that inflammation is basically the body's immune response to something going on right and that something going on could be an infection or it could be an injury what happened to me as dr joe explained I fell on my ribs. Injury occurred from the outside. Swelling is occurring. I can feel the swelling. And another sign of feeling swelling is pain. Pain. So if you're in any sort of pain going on in your body, 
chances are that is inflammation. Now, what you just heard Dr. Joe explain, this is where the rubber meets the road, and then he's going to get the podium back and unpack this thing more. But here's the part you want to hear. He just said it. The body's immune response, okay, how we're created, how we're designed, promotes inflammation. That's a good thing. The blood goes to the spot. It's like a wrecking crew healing, repairing, regenerating, fighting where injury has occurred. Now, that's called acute. It means it happens, the res immune response, the inflammation, to repair, to regenerate, right? And then it goes away. The wrecking crew packs up, puts up the tools, and goes back, parks the cars. No more inflammation, right? No more repair. We're done. Chronic inflammation. That is where so many people right now are living, where the immune system turned on aggressively, inflammation, repair is taking place, but the wrecking crew, for whatever reason, decides to stay there. They build a house there. And that's a dangerous thing for chronic inflammation to go undetected or undealt with. Dr. Joe, take it from here. So chronic inflammation is not good. And it's associated with lots of diseases. Let me start at the beginning. There is an association between mood. I'm going to give you ones that you don't think about. Not just arthritis, mood disorders. There's research which seems to suggest that patients with depression and anxiety may have inflammation actually inside their brain. That may be part of what's going on. And so that's just one part. What about heart disease? So it turns out that everybody knows about cholesterol and cholesterol is important. There's no question. But it turns out that heart disease is not just caused by elevated cholesterol, not just by smoking and diabetes. Those are obviously important. But actually, what's really happening is the lining of the blood vessels is becoming inflamed. And when it becomes inflamed, then it starts to narrow. And that's how you get heart disease, stroke, inflammation. Um, pretty much most of the major diseases, including the really important one, chronic inflammation and cancer. So let me give you a visual. We've talked about inflammatory bowel disease. The word inflammatory means it's inflammation. It's causing inflammation in your intestine. If you have chronic inflammation of your intestine from inflammatory bowel disease, like Crohn's disease, like ulcerative colitis, it massively increases your risk of developing colon cancer because chronic inflammation is bad. Yeah. And you know, the, the obvious question, by the way, uh, we're live, everybody. Remember, we're live. We're live. We're live. We're live. That means that if you have got a question that you want to ask, you can ask it live. You got it? And we want to hear from you. We're doing the after show, remember? This first part oh, is us with you teaching, training. or in 98 million homes, they tell me, right now, live in the United States and, and internationally as well, 22 countries. But listen, you hearing stuff. We're going to go to an after show. We go for another half hour on nine, nine different digital platforms where we want to hear from you. You got a question? The good doctor and I are going to do our best to answer it for you. Okay. So inflammation. We're talking about inflammation. If you just tuned in, welcome to Zoe Today. I'm Damon Davis, your host. I'm here with Dr. Joseph Feuerstein. And uh, we're in our Schomburg, Illinois location. We are connected to home base, Zeke. Give a wave. Let's take the camera to Zeke and do a wave and show them that Atlanta studio. Come on, somebody. All right. Gonna love to and, and, and here we are talking about a topic that is really the beginning, the baseline of all sickness and disease. Now, but you know what else? Where there is sickness and disease, there is inflammation. So inflammation can drive it and cause it. But where there is sickness and disease, you have inflammation. Now, watch this. That's not a good thing. That means if you already got something going on wrong in your body that you know about, and maybe like so many good people, you know, we've gone, we've got the diagnoses, we've got a prescription for something that we're taking, and we think that that's dealing with the inflammatory problem. Oh, it does not deal with the inflammatory problem. If anything, all we're doing is masking perhaps something that is going on in the body. And so all we're doing is we're dealing with the pain 
associated with some other condition or managing it through medicine, but we're not dealing with how it happened in the first place. So therefore, if we were to do a, a, a blood test to see your inflammatory markers, we would say, wow, we dealt with one problem with inflammation or one problem that perhaps inflammation caused a disease factor, a disease event. But guess what? We haven't dealt with the inflammation in the first place. So guess what? All we're doing is delaying the pop probability, possibility. We don't listen. This is not negative talk here. I'm not saying it's going to happen. We're going to do what we need to do based on the information on the show to give you what you need so it doesn't happen. But we're talking how the body works right now. And we're talking about data and logic, which is that if you have got a disease condition and we haven't dealt with the inflammatory issue, then all it is is the beginning of what we see in medicine. The cycle of you've got something going on, you go to the doctor, you get a diagnosis, and maybe you're popping a pill and life's back to normal. No, life's now a new version of life, a modified version where you have entered a pathway that is not towards wellness, you've entered a pathway to manage sickness and disease the rest of your life. And I got to tell you, you don't have to live like that. What we want to do is get to why it's happening. That's what this entire week is about. What is inflammation? Why do I have it? And then the natural question that will proceed, how do I get rid of it? Now, listen, very important. Do you know that obesity is one of the leading causes of inflammation in the body? Oh, you got it. So how do I look in my suit and my shorts and my dress when I look in the mirror? How do I look? I think I look all right. And I make that decision based upon whether my clothes are tight or not. We gain a little bit of weight, we get bigger clothes, right? And we say, we feel, we feel okay. I'm a little bigger than I need to be, granted, but I feel okay. You may feel okay because we've made modifications for the weight gain. But what the data tells us is the weight that you're carrying that we don't need to carry is one of the drivers of inflammation in your body. Dr. Joe, take it from there. So firstly, I want to say, um, I'm going to tease now. If you come to the after show, I'm going to tell you the relationship between diet and inflammation, because I'm going to tell you what foods you need to eat so you can get rid of your inflammation. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some natural approaches, some natural botanicals that can help with inflammation, because it's not all, okay, this is bad. What are you going to do about it? I'm going to tell you what you're going to do about it, but you just have to come to the office show to get the information. Obesity is a massive issue when I have patients. Remember, I'm a real medical doctor and I see patients all the time, including one right in front of me because you are my patient, Damon Davis, <laughs> and I'll be seeing you and you have inflammation in your body right now. And you also have inflammation when you're, when you're autoimmune, when your autoimmune diseases are not, uh, and, and not under control. You'll get red, swollen, and inflamed. That's not good. Do you know that patients with autoimmune disease, that's now a massive risk factor, not for you, my friend, because I'm just going to fix you, but it's a massive risk factor for heart disease. It's not just smoking, diabetes, obesity, family history. Another one, what we call a cardiac risk factor, is inflammation, chronic inflammation from things like rheumatoid arthritis. Why? Because everything's inflamed and the red blood and the, and the blood vessels are inflamed. That's not okay. Right. And we're going to have to fix that. So yep. if you are chronically uncomfortable, you have inflammation. If you are obese, I guarantee you have inflammation. And if I do a blood test for inflammation, your blood test, I'm telling you it's going to be high and we're going to need to fix that because that is yep. a, not a good thing. You know, so many people, Dr. Joe, um, say to themselves, so many people, you know, I'm dealing with the inflammation. You know, I, I have some inflammation that hits in the morning or the afternoon and, you know, I hear the name, it's called inflammation, but I'm dealing with it. How? It's just something that we all know is over-the-counter NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication. And, you know, I will tell you, there is billions of dollars. And this isn't a knock, by the way. I'm not, I, don't, I don't insult anybody on this show. I mean, thank goodness for medicine. It has its place in terms of needing to take a pill to help manage something, but we're living on it. And there's billions of dollars, billions, <laughs> billions of dollars at stake if 
all of the brilliance out there that's giving you something to suppress inflammation or to say, you know, you don't need to take this at all. In fact, take it today, take it today, but we want to get you started on a track that 30, 60, 90 days from now, you don't have to take this anymore because we helped you understand why it started in the first place. Hey, we're going to go to a break. Um, and that's a great leaping point when we come back. Dr. Joe, when we come back, um, right after our sponsors got to make an announcement, we got to give them a little bit of stage here. And when, when we come back, um, we have about six or so minutes before we go into the after show. So I want to take that last six or so minutes to, to allow you to, to give the list of things that are causing inflammation, if you may. Yeah, every as you alluded to what we eat, but what are the things that are causing inflammation so that when we get into the after show, we can spend some time helping you understand what we can do to undo that. All right. We'll be right back after this break from our sponsor. Don't go away. What? healthy is important now more than ever to combat whatever illness comes your way with knowledge and oversight from our board of licensed medical professionals is proud to offer zoe 60 an easy to follow complete lifestyle program not only will the program help you lose weight and keep it off but it's designed specifically to help you balance your spirit soul and body the program that we put together puts you in a place to heal yourself and it doesn't take long for you to see the benefits of that your first step is to pick up the phone and call the Zoe Logics expert team of trained doctors and health consultants right now. Our Zoe Logics team will provide you with a customized evaluation in order to guide you through your lifestyle transformation and help you achieve internal balance. Call now to set up a remote consultation with our wellness coaches. They will walk you step by step through this life-changing program online and you can lose up to 30 pounds or more in just 60 days and vastly improve your overall health. The statements that was made to me was, we wanna heal what's inside so that your body can do what it's supposed to do and that's burn the fat. I lost 36 pounds in 30 days. It's more than weight loss, it's true wellness and it's the kind of program that works for the rest of your life and believe me, it's that simple. All of this without the pills, without expensive exercise equipment, without prepackaged foods. Call right now using code Zoe Free and your initial consultation with the Zoe Logics Health Sciences, normally valued at $100, will be absolutely free. But this is a limited time offer, so you must call right now. You now have no more excuses not to get started on your overall health journey. Call now. All right, welcome back. Gentlemen, back to you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, real quick, Dr. Joe, before you dive in, I want to give, give you an example of what we're going to do. We have Bridget that at the break tossed us a question. And uh, the question is, is it possible to have inflammation inside the body and not know it? By the way, we want to hear from you right now. If you're watching the show, if you just tuned in, this is Zoe Today. I'm Damon Davis, your host. I'm here with Dr. Joseph Feuerstein. He is with our, our group, Zoe Logics Health Sciences. Everything that we do behind the, wor the world of Zoe Wellness Centers of America is backed by science, the best of minds, study. Listen, we're doing medicine responsibly, okay? So Dr. Joe, from Bridget, is Bridget, it possible to have inflammation inside the body and uh, not know about it? So you, you brought it up before. Obesity causes inflammation, but you may not feel that. It's you know, it's almost a blessing from God if you have swelling and pain in your knees or joints because you know you have inflammation, and we can do something about that. Stay tuned for the after show. But when you're 30 pounds overweight, the, the tissue in your body, that fat tissue, that adipose tissue, everybody thinks it's just hanging out. It's not hanging out. It's metabolically active. It's actually causing bad things to happen. You know, in men, you know, heavy men, they start to dress man boobs. You ever seen that? It's not like great. You know why? Because the fat tissue is taking all the testosterone, the male hormone, turning it into estrogen. Could you imagine? Wow. You Basically, wow. all these men, that's why. So it's incredibly inflammatory yeah. and you wouldn't know it unless you do blood tests. You come to yeah. Zoe, we sit there, we evaluate you. We can do blood tests. The blood tests are going to tell me where you have chronic inflammation yeah. and inflammation is associated with heart disease and cancer and mood disorders and obviously all types of joint pains, etc. 
what you eat, and this is where we're going to go in the office show, that will be inflammatory or anti-inflammatory. It's either making it worse or making it better. And if, and okay. just visualize this, you're going to take Motrin every single day for the rest of your life. You've got to ask yourself a question. I'm taking Motrin every day. Why every day? Why? If you have a headache once in a while, you take Motrin. But you know that if you take Motrin every day, it increases your risk of bleeding. It increases your risk of heart disease, of oh, sorry, kidney disease. Listen, you can't chronically take that. That actually was never probably, I think, supposed to be taken every day. So if you're taking it every day because you have joint pain, you need to work out what we actually need to do for the joint pain. You need to work on that weight. You need to work on what are you eating? What is your lifestyle? Why is it so inflammatory? That's what the after show is about because we've got to fix this and we can fix yeah. it naturally. Yeah. I've got much better things than Motrin. Yeah. Uh, and listen, you'll hear me throughout this program give what I call little disclaimers to say that we're not here to, to diagnose, treat, or cure anything that's not our job. Our, our role is to come alongside you, support you, encourage you, educate on what we know, and you have to make responsible decisions yourself. However, know that anything that we say to you is going to be backed by science. You're going to be able to look it up, in fact, and say, wow, I'd never heard that before. I probably never would have heard it before. I wouldn't have known what I need to know if I hadn't heard it on that show. I remember what Damon and Dr. Joe talked about. And a lot of it, just to... to you in advance is going to contradict a lot of what we think we know about what we should be doing to get by and win in life. For example, it wasn't long ago and still today where it is common that in the medical profession, they'll say, oh, part of getting older is that you're taking an aspirin every day. Well, we want to look at why you're taking the aspirin every day, and we want to look at are there alternatives naturally, naturally, to enable the body to do what it's designed to do. Does that make sense? So we're going to like look at everything we're doing. We're going to start asking really hard questions about why we do what we do. And in this, so that we can start to discover what to do to live the extraordinary life. That's what Zoe is. Zoe, Greek for not just ordinary life, extraordinary life. Stay tuned for this after show. I want you to stay with us. It's like 45 seconds to a minute from now. We're going to drop off of the network here, but that's okay. We want to answer your questions. So you stay dialed in. And go to YouTube if you're not aware that we're online. You can just go to YouTube. Go to our website, okay? Just stay dialed in and bring your questions. We want to answer them. Because now we're going to talk about what's causing it, inflammation, and what we can do to get rid of it. Mm. Got it? I'm Damon Davis. This is Zoe Today. You'll see you again tomorrow, the same time, this same channel. See you then. Thank you so much. Hi, welcome everyone who's joining us in our after show. We are here with Dr. For Your Son, and we're going to continue the, um, the conversation on inflammation. Gentlemen, let's get right back into it. Uh, listen, this is where I just let my hair down, y'all. <laughs> we got to be all dignified for TV because we want to be respectful and responsible, right? But man, I love this after show. Because I don't have to watch my clock and tell some dad jokes. But most importantly, get into what you want to hear about. You, you got that? What do you want to hear about? Now, please, please stick to topic if you can. The topic is inflammation. We're going to go all week. Damon, is there enough to talk about in one week on inflammation? You better believe there is. I'm going to give you a little precursor now. We're going to talk not so much about what it is. We'll hit that in high points every day this week on the show. But now we're going to get into what you can do to deal with it. Now, and, and you might be there saying, hey, I, I got some stiffness in my joints. What might that be? Well, we know it's inflammation, but what might that be? We're not here to diagnose, to treat, or cure anything. Now, we do see patients. Listen, we're open for business. 
Zoe Wellness Centers of America has, has centers in, in Atlanta, Georgia, with two locations here, North and South America. We just opened in Schaumburg, it's a center of Chicago. That means if you're in Chicago or you're in Atlanta, we want to hear from you. That, what do you why? Well, my goodness, come to the center. Become a, a member, non-medical side. You might just need some body balancing and detoxing and want to try to figure out how to lose 30 pounds in 30 days. We got you covered the right way, but you might actually want to go a little further, deeper. Hey, I got some stuff I'm dealing with that I've been living with for a long time. Are there things I can do, Damon and Dr. Joe, to take control of personal health care here and, and get this junk out of my life and get on the track of living the life I deserve? You better believe it. And so you may want to become a patient. Call us, connect with us. We'll tell you how that's possible. But this whole week is inflammation. And we got questions coming in. My goodness. I can't. Dr. Joe, you're handing me notes. I'm going to let you know. By the way, when you say come see us as a patient, you're going to see me. That's right. You know, listen, just for clarity, uh, Dr. Joe and I met. He came to see one of my, my lectures. And uh, I was in, uh, I think I was in New York, New York City or Connecticut. At Pastor Frank Centora's church, he said, "Hey, Damon, I want you to come up here, and you wrote that book on God cures, and we want to talk about, you know, what you your your journey." And so um, I look out in the audience, and uh, and I had just kind of entered the journey. I had a couple of members that, that uh, were working with me from this ten year journey to discover what causes men to get sick and what man can do to get well. And uh, one of my dear friends brought a friend with him to see the lecture, and I look out, and there was Dr. Joseph Feuerstein in, in the audience. I didn't know who he was. But I saw two very interesting things. Number one, I saw a lot of nodding and the things that I said right. But then I saw some of these. I'm like, what? Who is this guy? And as I would find out later, it was Dr. Joe saying, you got a, a lot of it right, but you got some things. So we're going to tweak a little bit. And he said, what are you trying to do? I said, well, man, your timing is perfect because you're a doctor. I'm at the entrance stage. I've got, I've got a great team of doctors and natural wellness practitioners and and some nutritionists, and I've got a team of, and I'm a health, I'm a certified health coach, but I, I'm kind of right at the, the, the precipice, if you will, there's got to be more, you know, in other words, I'm doing everything I know to do, some medically, scientifically, some naturally, but man, I, if I could just tap into a brain who kind of does this for a living, that meets with people and doesn't say, hey, I got a drug for that, but instead, hey, I got a food for that, huh? Oh, yeah. Damon, you got it right. Food is our medicine. Medicines are our food. But I got all these years of study. In fact, I lecture on this whole topic of we don't need to pull a drug out to solve your problem. That's right. And I'm like, my goodness. And so Dr. Joseph Feuerstein joined the team and actually is lead medical doctor, made me as his patient. And that cool? Right. Taking me to the next level. Me getting to the next level is everyone watching getting to the next level. So, Dr. Ju. Joe, five questions. Let's do it, baby. Five we questions. talked about what it was. We want to get as many questions as we can. Let's get to yeah. what causes it. Shoot. Oh, what causes inflammation? Okay. What causes so, it? And then I'm going to hit some questions. Oh, so go to the, the list. Uh, so, no. Obesity, you know, obesity, no, no, that's the, that's, yeah, obesity does it. Trauma does it. Infection does it. Remember, it's a healing thing. But also diet. We need to hit diet because I need to okay. tell you what foods will make it worse and what foods will make it better because that doesn't involve Motrin. Okay, couple yeah. questions and let's hit them. Number one, uh, does stress cause inflammation? Stress is going to contribute to inflammation because chronic stress is going to, it basically causes a release of a hormone called cortisol. And cortisol is associated with long, prolonged amounts of cortisol for long periods of time is associated with obesity and with actually, it's uh, it actually imp impaired wound healing and things like that. It's not good to have chronic stress because that's associated with inflammation. You know what I mean? Awesome. It puts you at an increased risk of the of the problems from inflammation. Uh, someone is asking, uh, they're doing a rollback to your question when you're talking about gut health. Uh, so I guess they probably don't want to speak for them. They're having inf inflammation in their gut. And uh, wondering what what is causing that. So um, inflammation. So you can get inflammation in your gut. When we look at your microbiome, there are different things we're looking at, and one of the markers is inflammation. 
and you can actually see microscopic inflammation in the in, in, in the gut and in the in, and in the functional medicine testing we do the kind of more interesting stool testing where we're looking at things and if you have inflammation that's bad firstly high inflammation that's actually probably an inflammatory bowel disease so that needs to be medically treated but chronic inflammation is again no garden grows if you light it on fire you show me any garden growing when it's when it's ablaze it's not it's the same thing with your intestine, your microbiome. Chronic inflammation, not good. It's going to disrupt the right microbes being there. It's going to disrupt the lining of the intestine. It's not a good thing. We have to treat that on the microscopic level of the gut, but also in the body, also wow. in the body. And stress is only going to compound the problem. It's only going to make it worse. Wow. Um, Ziki, I want to give you a platform that uh, I have access to some of our questions that are coming in from what I'm, I'm uh, able to see. And I know you have your eyes on the other digital platforms where questions might be coming. So feel free if there's a question that pops up on your side, interrupt me in the good doc. You know, we get in the river and we lose, we, we lose all consciousness and forget anybody else is there. So feel free to interrupt if you have a question that's coming in from your side. Um, Dr. Joe, another question. Um, some <laughs> people heard you say, hey, what do I eat? to help drive inflammation down. Um, let, let's talk about that because they're, okay. questions, they're going right to it. They're like, should I eat more blueberries? <laughs> this is it. This is it. This is it. And this is question number three. We've got two more questions we have to get to because we promised five every yeah. after show, my brother. <laughs> okay. Um, let me try to do this simple, but it's important. There are three main types of food we eat. This is nutrition 101. Carbohydrates, carbs, fats, and protein. That's it. Those are the macronutrients. You have to eat those. That's how humans survive. There are good versions and there are bad versions. There are ones that are going to increase your risk of inflammation and they're ones that are going to be anti-inflammatory. So let's do carbs first. Carbs that cause your blood sugar to go up very quickly. So they, they basically have what's called a high glycemic index, like cookies and stuff like that. You know what you're doing? You're increasing your blood sugar really, really quickly, and that actually causes inflammation in the body. So high levels of blood sugar from eating processed, processed carbs is not good. But if you're going to have whole grain where the sugar in the grain takes time to get into your bloodstream, your blood sugar doesn't go up so quickly. It has a lower glycemic index, much more anti-inflammatory. Let's do protein. Protein that I love. We had it last night, Damon, my brother, fish. Yeah. Why? Yeah. It's anti-inflammatory. Protein, not so good. Red meat. Why? It contains inflammatory chemicals. Oh, really? Latin word, or rather a Greek word, ecosinoids. Those are inflammatory chemicals that we make in our body, and that actually causes the inflammation. You're eating this stuff yeah. if, you're having, if you're having too much red meat. You are literally eating inflammatory foods. Fat. There's good fats and there's bad fat. The good fat, that's the fish oil, that's the uh, olive oil, that's the uh, flaxseed oil. Those are omega-3s. They reduce inflammation. Now, the Avo fat Avocados. Avocado, the good, good food. Now, the foods that are not so good are all the vegetable oils that people cook. All of their, you know, I don't know, donuts and stuff like that. So the donuts are a disaster. Why is it? I mean, you can have a donut once in a while, but you're having that for breakfast every day and then you're taking two Motrin. You're missing the plot here. It's simple. You're, you, you, you've got the wrong type of fat. There's no protein in the donut and that's got plenty of sugar and you're going to have an inflama in terrible inflammatory response. And, it, and, if, and if I may. That, that is I food for inflammation. Yeah, and if I may pick up on, on the point of the oils, because um, this will speak to a lot of people. Uh, you go into any cupboard in America, and chances are you're going to find vegetable oil, okay? And it, it, big jugs of it. You got cans of lard, and we got big jars of oil, and, and it's vegetable oil, and here's, and it's, or it's corn, corn oil, right? Here, here's the issue. All of that, is inf all of that drives in inflammation, all of that. And... It's interesting how much of that is processed, how much of that is piped out in those jars and cans and bottles to the American public and around the world to cook with. We fry our foods with it. We fry our eggs with it, right? That oil is horrible for you. And it's cheap to make. Watch. It's cheap to make. 
the manufacturers. It's cheap to make. They know that. And it's therefore cheap for you to buy. And I, I want to say it's thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of gallons of that that we will use in an ordinary lifetime individually. That's how much we're consuming that drives inflammation. Um, Dr. Joe. Um, question number four. We want to go to, yeah, we want to go to the next question um, on the list as it pertains to infl inflammation. And I'm getting a lot of questions about foods. It's funny. They're like, I get, hey, people must know about inflammation. Sure. And uh, some educated folks are like, I've been taking this for it, right? So yeah. right. turmeric, turmeric. Yes. Is, okay. is turmeric really that beneficial and helpful to deal with inflammation? Great question. Turmeric, spice comes from the, uh, there's a Latin name for this, which is turmeric cur cur curcumin, is the actual plant, and, uh, and turmeric is, is what you, is, is, the, is the spice that we find, it's what curry is made out of, it gives you that lovely yellow look. Um, there are published clinical studies, there are published clinical studies that using turmeric and ginger, as in ginger as in another food, work, to reduce inflammation in things like arthritis. However, you have to take the right amount, which that, that means you have to do it under medical supervision because if you're just taking a little bit, it's not working. These are quite high doses. And we actually know what it does. It works on the body in the same way as Motrin works on the body. It literally works on an enzyme just like Motrin does. It's literally the, the, the equivalent of Motrin at the right dose. If you aren't going to see an integrative doctor and you're going to go and just do it, then you should be taking it, eating it. You should be having turmeric. So in Indian medicine, in Ayurveda, they actually take a scoop of turmeric every single day and they put it in like almond, uh, almond milk or coconut milk or soy milk or whatever. And they drink that every day and that helps reduce inflammation. Only if you get to with these types of things, any, any blood thinners, you have to be careful because those can cause bleeding and you're adding turmeric, which can also cause bleeding. If you're going to take supplements, you want to really do it under medical supervision. You want to eat turmeric and have a diet that's full of turmeric. Be my guest. It's a spice. It's fantastic. It's got antioxidants, but it's anti-inflammatory for sure. Yeah, that's powerful. I, I've got a, a notice here. zeke has got a question from, uh, uh, from yeah. our... The location. Ziki, go right ahead. Yes, we have a question from Miss Webb. I know you touched on it um, a little bit, but she wants to know, does um, inflammation affect your mental health? You could like go a little bit more into that. Zika, I didn't hear you, Damon. Do you want to just say what the question was? Sorry. I'm sorry glad this is the after show because we might have some technical difficulties in the after show, gang. So hang with us. We're perfecting this. Um, Ziki, we could not hear your question. Okay, okay. Uh, so it's so from Miss Webb. Can you hear me now? Can't, still can't hear you. Can, still can't hear? Okay. They're going to tell you the question. <laughs> just, yeah, you guys can keep going if they can't hear me. Dr. Joe, let me just keep it going. We, we can't hear her question. No worries. Um, Ziki, send it in the chat. I know I'll yeah, it. Yeah, Ziki, uh, send us to us in the chat or they'll, they'll fix the uh, audio on your side. I'm going to keep going because questions yeah, number are coming five. in on my five. side. We promised five questions. Let's do it, yeah. baby. What is the difference between uh, – good, good question. You know, it's funny people – funny what we call things, right? Someone's asking what is the difference between arthritis and inflammation. Oh, okay. No, I, 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 I want to take a stab at that, but I'm going to let you. Go yeah, ahead. No, no, no. This is good. This is good. This is good. So in medicine, and at some point, we're going to talk, Damon, about when, when, med when doctors talk and we say what we're saying, patients don't always understand what we're actually saying because we might be saying the opposite. We, I told you about that at dinner last night. So this True. is the same thing. What is, this is just a 101 on medical speak. Itis, any itis means it's an inflammation. So if I have inflammation of my stomach, my gastrum, it is called gastritis. If go. I have inflammation of my colon, I would call that colitis, just medicine. So if I have inflammation of my joints, not the bone, but the joints, that is called arthritis. So that's what arthritis. So any arthritis is and an inflammation. And Dr. Joe, when you tell those bad jokes, it's called bad humoritis. Side That's note, called bad humoritis. It means it's an inflammation. <laughs> exactly right. That's exactly right. So arthritis. 
it's inflammation just of the joints. It's just a term to describe inflammation of the joints. So it is. So in other words, inflammation is what happens everywhere. When you have inflammation of the joint, it's arthritis. When you have inflammation of the lining of the heart, it is a carditis. You know, when you yeah. have inflammation of the lining of the brain, it's meningitis. But again, it's itis. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Uh, and that's, you so know, now you know that because the doctor says you've got laryngitis. What have you got? Your inflammation of the throat. Yeah. That's right. You know, when we come back, um, we've got a few minutes, so we're just going to let her, we're just going to relax. we got about 15 minutes. Beautiful. left of the after show and uh so let the question questions flow give me another um, one yeah and, and i'm waiting i don't have one on my side zeke did you get your audio uh fixed you had a you question somebody want to put it in chat it's not fixed yet oh, audio is not fixed yet. dr joe still i think they're still working on that part no one mental health mental health that's a big one you know there's it's a huge, huge, huge issue, huge crises yeah. in the United States and abroad. Are you telling me, to I understand you correctly, that, so, um, uh, that right. inflammation, inflammation oh, oh, can be a huge so I want to educate. I want to educate. I want to tell you a study because remember, as I come on more, I'm going to give you studies. And every time I come on, I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to tell you a study. So you're getting cutting edge. This is literally how it goes. All right. During the show... I told you that there are blood tests that we can do that'll tell me how much inflammation you've got in your body. But more importantly, okay, inflammation in the body is one thing. Where do I really not want you to have inflammation? In your blood vessels, because that's the worst place to put that, because that's basically going to increase your risk of heart disease. So there's a blood test that we can do that'll actually measure inflammation in your blood vessels. It's called high sensitivity, because it's a very sensitive test, C for for Charlie, R for Robert, P for Paul, CRP. So they did a big study looking at people with mood disorders, depression, anxiety, and they measured, this was done in Korea, and they measured people's high sensitivity CRP. They measured it on everybody. And you know what they found? If you had a high a level of this sens high sensitivity CRP, in other words, if your inflammation levels were high, you had two times the risk of developing anxiety or depression compared wow. to someone who had low levels. And why? Because inflammation is associated with mood disorders. Oh, uh, I got it. I'm sorry. I got to make sure I got that last sound bite. Your inflammation is associated, confirmed. I mean, studies are in. Inflammation is associated with mood disorders. With mood disorders, with anxiety, with depression. In fact, you know what's really interesting? One of the things in the more kind of integrative psychiatry, people who, you know, the psychiatry sees you because you've got depression, anxiety, etc. One of the things they find very interesting is the psychiatrists nowadays, some of the very kind of up-to-date ones, they will take that blood test and they will look, and it turns out that if your inflammation levels are high, that's actually going to have an effect on the extent to which medicines like SSRIs, so Zoloft and Selecta, how likely they are to work may be based on how much inflammation you've got. Are you tell I'm telling okay. you. Okay, so let, I'm gonna, I got to put stuff in the practical sense, right? Yeah. And, and, and apply some real life scenarios yeah. that people can relate to. That's part of what I'm going to do here. So I wake up in the morning yep. and I'm just in a bad mood. And, you know, we say, oh, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Well, what if I got a full night's sleep and, you know, everything else that would give me the condition necessary for me to be in a good mood? Like, as in, there's nothing wrong going on. But the first thing that happens, I just snap. Now, there's a mood issue going on, right? That's a mood disorder. If it goes on chronically, absolutely. Yeah. So you're telling me that we're being so hard on ourselves and we're taking medication thinking it's going to solve the problem. It's masking the problem. When in fact, I might actually have some inflammation going on where? In my brain? That's exactly it. So depression, let's define that. That's actually a, that's a proper medical diagnosis. This is people who have 
Really, they are tearful. They have inability to enjoy life. They can have changes in appetite, changes in sleep, changes in energy. Mood let's swings. say a lot of people are like that. And it doesn't just go on for one day. It goes yeah. on and on and on. And it's miserable. And they didn't do anything to get this. They're not to blame. This is just literally like their body's just betraying them. And it's probably related to some chemicals going on. But what I'm saying is the chemicals are not the only thing going on. The inflammation's going on. And wow. so psychiatrists, when they give you these medications, the new ones are saying, oh, wait a second, I better check your inflammation level. Because if the inflammation level's on or off, that's going to have an effect on whether your medicine's actually going to even work. Dr. Joe, that's someone, who's bi someone who's bipolar, right? Yeah. They begin in a classification of that, or they just use it so freely. It's like, because their, their moods are like this, and right, right. they think they're bipolar. They're taking medic medicine. They went to see the doctor. They gave him medicine. Man, they're handing out medicine like it's going out of style. Right. And you're saying that, yeah, they're treating part of the problem, but who's looking at inflammatory markers? Patients who have bipolar need to be seen by, by the psychiatrist, and they need to be on a medication regimen that works for them. And yep. that's all good. But that was part one. That's right. not However, enough. if it's just the pills, then you missed the point. Why don't we treat the underlying problem here? And if there's an inflammation going on, you need to be on an anti-inflammatory diet. The foods that I told you about, the foods that are good for you, the foods that are not good for inflammation, that is so important with people who've got mood disorders. This is not just everybody should eat better, but this is you have a problem that you're making worse because you're eating this. What you're having for breakfast is, you know, is some kind of donut thing that's full of omega sixes and is inflammation and has no protein, which is what you need, and and is going to just spike your blood sugars and it's going to cause a whole inflammation all over your body. Of course, you're not going to feel good, and then you're going to want to eat in two hours because you didn't eat well. Yeah, that's what we're about. You have to use food as well. And you know, Doctor Joe, as you're speaking um, and you're talking about about mood disorders in particular, when you're talking about mental um, health in particular, you know, a lot of people are self-medicating through whatever it is that is going on. In other words, you know, we're pretty resilient. We, we find things that will help us distract ourselves from how we feel just push through how we feel because you know we got to be tough about it but then also we will go to other things to help self-medicate our way through these issues that are dealing with mental health or mood now why do i say all of this simple do you know one of the leading go-to's for dealing with mood and mental health food yeah food listen when we eat that good stuff that mama used to cook and we're trying to find that baseline of, oh, you know, nostalgia or what we call comfort food, in most cases, you're not alone. And my, my home is fried food and bad stuff I shouldn't be eating because it tastes so good. We weren't educated then. We didn't know what that, that oil will do, that lard will do, the high sugar content will do, the heavy fried foods will do. We don't know that, right? When I'm wanting to feel better, I don't just go grab an orange or an apple. I don't go grab a good old avocado, peel it, and sink my teeth into it. I'm going to get me a bag of Fritos. I'm just telling you the way it is. And something happens. There's a chemical that is produced, driven from the gut to the brain. I think it's, is that serotonin? Is that, that dopamine? Is serotonin, 100%. It, it is making me feel good. And it, right. that food, folks, is a drug. But That's here's right. what's happening. You are temporarily dealing with how you feel through a chemical that is body created, right? Yet, if your go-to food types that are helping you feel better to produce that serotonin is happening, there's something else that is happening if it's the wrong kind of food being your medicine. And that is, it's also spiking inflammation that is the reason that we know we're in a state of depression. So, I, I guess I would say, Dr. Joe, is this why you've spent so much time, you know, most doctors get about 25 hours in the entire, their entire medical study on food, not you. Is this why you have spent so much time right. in the study of how 
Hippocrates said, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. Am I right? Uh, 100%. I've got another study for you because I told you. I'm, now I'm starting to get my studies ready. Okay, you, you ready for this one? It's going to blow ready. your mind. Okay, my brother, it goes like this. If you want to look when the brain is active, you put someone in a functional MRI machine. Okay, so the MRI machine is a machine. You put your head in there for 45 minutes and it shows me like the detail anatomy of the brain. But a functional MRI machine actually will tell me not only where everything is, but what's working right now, what's light up, what's not lit up. So they took these people in a study, it was done a while ago, and half of them were foodies and half of them were not foodies. And then they gave them a, uh, and they told them to imagine drinking, you didn't have to eat it, imagine drinking a chocolate milkshake. And what happened is that if you were a foodie, if that got you going, when I put you in a functional MRI, do you know that the identical parts of the brain that you get, ready for this, when you take cocaine, cocaine, light up when you're eating those types of food. And the reason is because it's the dopamine system, which is the reward system, which is basically in the same way as people get addicted to drugs, they're going to get addicted to food. That's what's going on. Dr. Joe, I read part of that study. Um, you are 100% right. And one of, the, one of the food types, if I can call it that, that had an almost exact match to cocaine on the brain, listen, was sugar. That's right. Sugar, white, refined sugar. Listen, folks, inflammation. and, sugar, and sugar is, the, is one of the leading drivers of inflammation. 100%. <laughs> you know, Dr. Joe, what we do at Zoe Wellness Centers of America uh, as we wrap up uh, today's after, after segment is um, what we do, we are looking to get to the root. Listen, everybody, you need to pass this along. When someone says, hey, who is Zoe Wellness Centers of America? What are they all about? What is, what is Zoe Logic Health Sciences? behind them all about what what are they all about what do they do is, is that just another jenny craig or weight watchers or what have you There's so many organizations that are doing a great job helping people uh lose weight you know because we got to get the weight down we got to get we got to it's listen it's 2023 let it be your new year's resolution right to to get back to the to the way to, to the way things were where you're looking good feeling good but, but more importantly Unlike all of those other organizations that are doing a good job helping with weight loss, they're not slowing down and spending any time to figure out why we gained the weight in the first place. And the reason that we are leading with the invitation to come to our, our center, connect with us, we can get that weight off, is because that is just the byproduct. Listen, dropping the weight is the byproduct of what's going to happen in your life when we get to the kind of foods that we're eating that are adding to our life and getting out of the, uh, our life the kind of foods that we're eating they're taking from our life. Because what we're doing is we're looking at cellular health. We're looking at, we're looking at are your hormones balanced? We're looking at, you know, are you living a toxic lifestyle in terms of not just stress factors of what's going on in mind and emotions, right? But, are, but are, you, are you infusing into your regimen the kind of chemicals that are toxic that all of this not only cause you to gain weight, but they'll impede you from being able to get that weight off? You feeling me? So what we're doing at Zoe that is all medically based, medically backed, I'm talking about the best of minds that have come together to help me get healthy and well. And in helping me get healthy and well, what happened was the weight fell off. That's the byproduct of what we do here. Because here's the difference between us and most other organizations that specialize in the category of weight loss. We don't want you to come back. Whoa, what would you say, Damon? That's like the worst business model in the world. That We want to see you and never see you again. What we mean by that is we want to teach you everything you need to learn so that you're not gaining that weight back when you're off the program. Listen, we have a saying in the world of Zoe, 
And it goes something like this. Wellness is not a destination. It is a journey. Most people spend a lifetime living in such a way that media and big box medicine and big box food and maybe that mom and dad taught us is how we achieve Zoe in life. Zoe, the extraordinary life. What we're going to do is bring it back to the original, the creator's original intent. How does your body work? How should it function? What are the kind of foods we should have that are medicine for the body and bring us into a state of healing? How do we get inflammation down? How do we, how do we live a stress as much as possible, a stress-free life? Where that means how do we manage stress? How do we recognize it when it comes? How do we add relationships to our life that add to our life and kind of get out of some that are taking from our life, right? How do we get on the right track to make the kind of money that we should be making because we're tapping into the true value of who you are and what you were designed to do? How do you sleep? What is hydration all about? At the end of the day, you were, you were born with a plan and a purpose, and you, it's hard to find it and discover it when you're sick, diseased overweight and you know you're not your best version of you let 2023 let this moment be the moment that we say no more of that i just need to get connected to somebody that can show me the way that's what we're all about dr joe amen i want to have you back all right, you if you can through. at least maybe one more time this week or as many as you can be here we'll patch you in i know you're heading back to our our connecticut uh, office you got work to do up there in the Northeast as we kind of move to open our centers in Washington, D.C. I think we have a center coming in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, but love to have you on if you can. But before I'm, you go, Miss no Richards, I'm, I'm going to leave you with a parting question. Miss Richards said, I came in late. Hey, but you're here. Come on. Thank Amen. you. Thank you, Miss Richards, for being part of the show. Uh, and to everybody, remember, every day, Monday to Friday, 1 p.m., 1 to 130 and 100 million homes nationwide and then the after show. And the after show is where we ask, ask and answer questions. Uh, Ms. Richard says, I came in late. Besides turmeric and ginger, what herbs are good to reduce inflammation? Dr. Joe. And then we're going to wrap up. I appreciate you, Ms. Richards. My favorite herb. I talked about Ayurveda. That's Indian medicine. It's a really amazing herb that I used all the time and I continue to use with patients. It's called Boswellia. It's actually frankincense, literally frankincense from, from, from the Bible. That is actually a potently anti-inflammatory herb. Boswellia serrata or frankincense, very powerful for inflammation. I use that with patients all the time. That's the one to check out under medical supervision, of course. Yep. Hey, by the way, everybody, this is not an attempt to sell you anything. Um, just giving you update and information on exciting new things that, that – uh, we're developing in the world of Zoologics Health Sciences. That is where we do our studies and our formulations of supplements and, and helps to life to discover Zoe. And uh, very proud to announce, so for, for several years, working in formulation to develop, hey, I need a supplement. I need something natural that isn't so much it can hurt me. In other words, I don't have to go get a blood test to find out, can I take it? But it is better than taking Tylenol or ibuprofen in the morning. That is our supplement. The white paper just came out. That means the study behind it. We release all of the ingredients, the what they do, all of our supplements. You won't go to CVS and buy some supplements. Say, show me the white paper, right? Because the FDA doesn't get involved in supplements. The Food and Drug Administration doesn't police it. I think maybe they should. The point is, we didn't need someone to police us. I just said, if we're going to develop any supplements to be distributed from the world of Zoe to you, I want to see the science behind it. I'm going to have a medical team. I'm going to have a group of people. They're going to part of formulation so that it's safe and effective. That is our product, Alevia. Alevia. So it's hot off the press. Uh, we're going to start putting it on the shelves at our centers. But I've been taking the Alevia product every day for the last two years. And um, all of the ingredients, a lot of what you just heard, Boswellia, Turmeric, I mean, and mo so much more. Buckwheat, so much more. A lot of what we talked about is in the product. And instead of me popping two Tylenol in the morning like I used to every day, which is horrible for the liver, or popping two ibuprofen, which is horrible for the gut. Come on, somebody. Instead, I'm popping two Olivia. So just want to mention that. 
uh, you'll be able to go pretty quickly to our uh, to our store, see that. It'll be in our centers. But Dr. Joe, thank you, sir, for being on the program today. Thank everyone that has tuned in on television and that stayed with us or that has tuned in to the after show here online. Do me a favor. Tell as many people as you can, please. Share the word about Zoe. Share the word about what we're doing. Become part of the conversation. Connect with us. Discover the new you in 2023 and be a crusader for what we're trying to do in the world. We thank you so much. Dr. Joe, any closing words? Ziki, any closing words? And we're going to be out. Yes. I'll see you Friday. Olivia, okay. you guys can find Olivia. Ziki, back to you. Wrap us up. Thank you, Dr. Joe. Okay. All right. Um, just want to remind you guys, you can find Olivia online. You can buy it at zoewellness.com. And then we'll go to Dr. Joe. And then we'll close out. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow here at 1 p.m. And, of course, our after show at 1.30. Everybody have a great night.